Support for WCBU's On Deck comes from Jaguar Land Rover Peoria on Allen Road. Offering personalized service to customers from their first visit to the store to when they drive their new Land Rover home. More at JaguarLandRoverPeoria.com. A unique business is six months into becoming a new Peoria staple. That's just one of the things you'll want to hear about to start your day for Monday, August 26th. I'm Colin Shope, and this is WCBU's On Deck. First on deck today, a piece of art from an East Peoria printmaker makes a buzz in an Illinois Department of Natural Resources contest. WCBU's Cameron Cutinello has more. Jeremy Berkeley made the Live Loud print for hands-on printmaking demonstrations. It features a green and yellow cicada surrounded by the text, Live Loud, Live Fast, Leave a Beautiful Exoskeleton. If that sounds familiar, it's a bug-themed parody of a famous James Dean quote. I wanted something timely, something people could remember and, and uh, Cicadas were really hot in the early spring with all the stories going around of the brood invasion. Later, Berkeley says a friend told him about a contest at the Department of Natural Resources following the summer's rare dual overlap of cicada broods. He submitted his print and one in the printmaking category, with the piece on display at the Illinois State Fair. Berkeley says printmaking is a medium that requires planning ahead and careful attention to detail. The green layer would have gets burned on the screen with a light box, and it creates like a stencil. You can put the ink down on the screen and pull it to squeegee through onto the paper and you build the layers on top of each other. He took extra steps to ensure the cicada in the print was from the right brood and anatomically correct, using lots of reference photos from a Peoria Riverfront Museum exhibit on insects. You can see Live Loud and other art from the contest at dnr.illinois.gov slash cicada art contest. For WCBU, I'm Cameron Cutinello with reporting from Colin Shope. Here's some other stories we're following in the WCBU newsroom. Peoria Mayor Rita Ali will appoint Chet Tomzik to finish out the unexpired term of the former city treasurer. And existing home sales in the Peoria market are down more than 7% through the first two quarters, but closings in July increased slightly over last year. Plus, Illinois Central College reports a 5% increase in fall semester enrollment compared to a year ago. You can find more of these stories and all the details at WCBU.org. Almost six months in, Peoria's River Kitty Cafe is purring right along. The combination coffee shop cat cafe on University Street has found a forever home for dozens of furry friends. Owner Holly Walker calls the response these first few months overwhelming. We've celebrated 83 adoptions, uh, some more pending this week, so hoping to get to the 100 mark very soon. Uh, business has been great with the, the coffee um, and the lattes and treats and snacks that I'm getting now from the bakery, things like that. Walker, a former eighth grade math teacher, had no background barista experience. But she says a partnership with Peoria's Intuition Coffee has provided her and her one employee with everything she needs to feel confident making drinks of all kinds. Here's that employee, Beth Radice, describing the training process. Honestly, learning the drinks was the most overwhelming part because um, I was not a barista before I started. But we had amazing training by Ty at Intuition. He is such an amazing man, um, and the coffee is delicious. But enough about coffee. Let's talk about the stars of River Kitty Cafe, a rotating cast of 20 adoptable cats from Peoria County Animal Protection Services, or PCAPs. When you enter the cafe, you can see the animals behind a plexiglass counter window and a double set of doors. They frolic in a room full of cat toys, furniture, and beds, their litter boxes tucked carefully away under benches. Walker says customers pay for a set amount of time and enter the cat room, relaxing in the presence of friendly felines. I get so excited when the adoptions take place and, you know, the cats are finally finding a home. Um, and some of the stories that I, that these cats have when they come in here, the trauma that they've experienced, the, um, how scared some of them are of people and of situations like this, and just to see them kind of relax and become the cat that they were always meant to be, right? If you take a look at the cafe's adoption wall, you can see the evidence of one of 
of those stories. A handful of the adoptees are named after 80s pop music. Careless Whisper, Mr. Blue Sky, Cherry Bomb. PCAP's kennel services manager Alex Minky says they all came from the same cruelty hoarding case earlier this year. We removed... Um, I think it was over 100 cats by the end of getting all the kittens and everything out. And that was huge because we had a group of cats. Um, Once they got vetted, obviously they had to go through a lot of medical care. After treating the cats for issues like dry skin and upper respiratory infections, PCAPs named them all after tunes. Now some of them are finding new homes through River Kitty Cafe. Every source of adoptions helps. Menke says Peoria County has a significant population of stray cats. Trap and release spay and neuter programs help, but it's difficult to keep up. For example, Menke says the shelter took in 173 total cats in the first 20 days of August. Compare that to adopting out 48 in the same period. One thing, of course, every shelter faces is space. Where are we going to put all these cats when all of our adoption rooms are full? And this gives us another outlet, another way to get our cats out there, get them noticed, get them recognized, and get them adopted into loving homes. Walker says the adoptions are a vital part of the River Kitty Cafe's role in the community. At last check, they had adopted out kitty number 99. Walker's excited to be creeping towards 100, even if, for some cats, letting them go can be hard. Is there a cat that's stuck with you? Um, Anyone who knows me knows the answer to this question is yes, Wessie. He was one of our original cats, and I just adored him. And although I was sad to see him get adopted, his new family is absolutely amazing, and he's living his best life now. Of course, not everyone who visits River Kitty adopts. In fact, some of them may be too far from home to comfortably transport a cat back. Walker says she's seen visitors from the Quad Cities, Iowa, and Indiana, as well as further down south. The demand is high, and Walker has risen to meet it, now open seven days a week with expanded hours. You can find more info about the cafe, including ways to contact Walker about volunteering to help care for cats at the River Kitty Cafe page on Facebook. Now before we let you go, today is a regular meeting of the Peoria Public Schools Board of Education. Those meetings take place at 6.30 p.m. in the DLC boardroom at the district's administration building. And that's all for today. You can subscribe to WCBU's On Deck podcast on the NPR app, Apple, Spotify, or YouTube Music.